Jeff and Steph's excellent adventure. Oh yeah. So we wanted to do some exploring around the Yuma area and we have a fun app that we use called Roadside America that shows us roadside oddities and fun little quirky things to stop and see along the road. And we usually use it whenever we go to a new city to check stuff out. And we decided to give it a whirl and do a few things here around the Yuma area. Side note, yes. this is the windiest day since the Wizard of Oz. It is super windy, yeah. So, so we're gonna try and best here. <laughs> Hopefully you'll hear us talking and yeah. not just a windstorm. Yes. So behind us here is this amazing bridge. Built in it's 1929. Yes. And it was basically a model or a first try at the Golden Gate Bridge to yes. see if it would work as a suspension bridge because it was relatively new technology to build a, a bridge with cables like that and they actually thought it would probably fail uh, once cars started driving over it so they kind of put it over this little bridge here or this little uh, the bridge over this little what is it like a river here at one time yeah, it used to be a river that dried up so this was an original suspension bridge out here in the desert it's currently called the bridge to nowhere in Yuma and again it was built prior to the Golden Gate Bridge, and then the water that was running under it at the time when they built it has since dried up due to all the damming of the Gila River. And so now it's this massive bridge in the middle of nothing. We're gonna go show you it. And this is pretty fitting because the bridge to nowhere, we're on a journey or an adventure to nowhere. Really? Yeah. We don't know where a we're never going. never ending journey. We don't know where we're going. Yeah. And neither does this bridge. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So you can see where the cable starts. And it's anchored here in the concrete. And up and over the first tower, just like the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. So here you can see the bridge, a side angle of it here. And uh, how long is this bridge, honey? It's 800 feet. 800 feet long. And it just spans over nothing. What well, used to be a river, <laughs> yeah. which was diverted by a dam, I don't know how long ago. Yeah, so now it's just like a wash plain underneath. Um, the bridge is closed off to pedestrians right now. There's a gate across it. Um, I read that they deemed it unsafe for traffic. And so they were just going to block off pedestrians for now also. But you can see how massive this is. So why go to San Francisco and spend all that money for a toll to go across that bridge right. when you can come right here? True that. Right? Pretty cool. So our next stop on our tour of Yuma roadside attractions is this tiny church. This church is the smallest church in the world, they say. Right. It measures 9 by 12 feet, and it was built by a farmer who owns this land for his wife after she passed away. Her name was Lois, and this church was dedicated to her and it's called the Tiny Chapel. Now this church can fly, right? <laughs> That's what we read. Very interesting, yeah. So in a windstorm in 2001, this church was completely lifted up off the ground and blown 60 feet. And, like yeah. the Wizard of Oz. Yes, and so where it is now is where it landed. When it was blown, the steeple was broken off and one of the walls were damaged and local residents and neighbors and such gathered supplies and repaired the chapel and it now sits here where the spot it landed. So I guess that was meant to be. For sure. Yeah, it was supposed to be built in this spot to begin with. I can't wait to see what it looks like inside. Yes, so we're going to go check out the tiny chapel here. It does sit off Highway 95. And there is a sign at the road that says, rest, pause, and worship. And 
so the the farmer that owns the land encourages people to stop off here and take a minute and come inside the church now we are in the midst of what is this called cilantro this cilantro yes a cilantro field yeah so it if smells you like Mexican so amazing food, here I love cilantro. <laughs> Me too. One of my favorite things. Yeah, it does yeah. smell amazing. It smells so good, tastes so good. Let's and check it's super out. food. Let's check out the church. Let's go inside. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me get that door for you. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the world's smallest church. Oh, look how Whoa. adorable this is. How oh, nice is that? It has three little rows of pews, very small pews. Stained glass windows. It maybe holds 10 people in here. And it has the little stained glass windows on both sides. And a podium on it up front with some Bibles. I'll give you some scale here. Okay. Show us how big it is, Jeff. Not very big. <laughs> See that? And so I think maybe, I don't know, nine feet at the peak? Yes. Or so. And you can sit, uh, well, there's six pews. Yeah. Maybe two people in each one. Yeah, very tight. So top's tight. 12 people. <laughs> yeah, top's for sure. Top's 12 people. And they do have a guest book up here at the podium. They encourage people to sign it and write some little travel words or words of wisdom as they stop here. So we're going to go ahead and sign that. So if it was a cold winter's day, which I don't know what that means in Yuma. Is that 60? Maybe. <laughs> if this church was full of people, 12, it would be warm and toasty just from body heat. It would. Right? Good observation. How cool is this place? It is very neat. Yeah, beautiful I'm so church. happy we had to see this. Yeah, this place will make you make you happy. So we drove a little further down 95, and right here next to the road at the VFW for Yuma is this awesome tank. Do you want to know what kind of tank this is? I do. Okay, this is an M481A patent tank, and it was built for the United States military from the 1950s to the 1990s, named after the great General George S. Patton. How cool is that? That's pretty awesome. Is that like a bomb or something up front? Yeah, it's a bomb. <laughs> Check this out. That's definitely not tank related, but it's got a bomb. Yeah, it does have a bomb. Look at the old rubber feet on it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's super cool. Pretty neat. I agree. And there's a massive anchor, I'm sure, off some famous boat. Yeah. This this anchor. Oh, I'm showing this tank. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, the anchor. The anchor is from the Titanic. <laughs> it is not. Thank you for that artificial fact. <laughs> so we decided to go shoe shopping. We saw this little place on the side of the road.
fun little things within certain distances you can put in within five miles within 20 miles whatever um, the app is in the app store it's two dollars and 99 cents just a one-time fee you don't have to pay an annual but we've used it in almost every single city and state we've been in to find unique places to visit um, go ahead and download that I'll put the information up on the screen now The app will show you a list of nearby places to visit. It also has information and reviews from people. There are directions and um, maps, like you can hit a navigation button to map it out from your location. And we really enjoy this app. We found it a lot of fun in local oddities and things. So check it out.